G'day, it's Mike Jessup uh, from Oceancraft. Welcome aboard the Oceancraft 6 meter extreme sports fisher. Just going to a customer up in Darwin, and uh, I have to know he's going 100 miles offshore. Uh, this exact same boat will pass survey for commercial use and for half of 12 passengers, and of course that means he's as safe as houses when he's out on the water. It's the only boat in the world uh, with its seven airtight, watertight uh, buoyancy sections. These are on this boat; they're actually all foam filled. So uh, basically, you could shoot holes in this boat, and it would still float, and you could still drive home with the uh, with the outboard. Another unique feature on this boat is we've got removable line bait well, and that's a good 270 liters. So it's it's what's known as a mackerel box. So it's a, it's about a meter and a half long, basically. And there's a, a light bait well there with a uh, that's an ocean car patented one. That one, uh, which all drains out nicely, and um, you know it keeps your blood and guts in the uh, external to the boat. And you process all your fish on board, which you're not allowed to do in Queensland, but you can in Northern Territory. Uh, and uh, basically, this is a live bait well, which is which is. Again, turn buckles in here. We've got it seated down here, and also doubles the deck wash, which is um, uh, which is ideal if you've got blood and guts all over the boat. <laughs> you can fish all around the boat in this one. Uh, we've got a nice bench across the back here, and um, of course we're swimming and diving. You've got a nice uh, four rung swim dive ladder. The, we have an anchor, of course, but uh, this is actually an anchor winch, which is rather fun. Uh, you can actually. Uh, Without, without getting your hands wet or touching an anchor rope. Actually, uh, standard with all, all ocean craft uh, offshore vessels, of course. We've got a VHF radio, which you, we, keep, we keep in there. This one here. You can control the whole thing and talk to other vessels and leave it on to, to receive, uh, uh, receive calls. It's got a uh, GPS chart for the fish finder with a uh, GPS map of Australia, which will tell you exactly where you are, basically on the... Um, uh, to within about four meters of anywhere. You got a good old, good old fashioned um, backup compass. You got a speedometer on the Suzuki's. You got the um, uh, rep can and trim and tilt. There's your anchor up and down. Uh, you've got our power steering on here, which is hydraulic, which makes it nice and smooth. That's autopilot hold, hold fast. We're doing, uh, we're actually sea trialing this brand new. Uh, Suzuki 140, which is actually the largest engine we've ever put on the back of one of these. So yeah, we personally, I know customers that put big ones on themselves, but it certainly does the job. We were doing a 45 knots earlier. That's a, that's a four stroke, they've got very good fuel consumption. We've been out here for an hour or two now, and we, we, we've hardly touched, uh, we've still got a, a third of a tank there, and we started with half a tank. <laughs> Three, four liters in the course of an hour or two. So. Also on the sport fish here, you've got the two rod holders on either side. Um, basically, they're the only boats in the world that are airtight, metallic plate alloy boats. They actually look like and remain an inflatable boat that actually retain their pneumatic properties. Now, that's to say, just being in an enclosed airspace, it's just like a car tire. They'll absorb shock noise and vibration, and that really does translate, as you probably see on the footage earlier, into a smooth ride. Uh, not just in um, for being pneumatic, but also uh, you've got the posi lift valve. These are the deepest V production monohulls in the world as well. And the way we do that is we have a, a, a tr the sponsors act as a trimaran when they're at rest. When you're at rest now, 
uh, it's got a two and a half meter beam. Now again, this is a unique feature in even in Australian boats. Now we hate to, it, the sad truth is that any any um, imported boat, of course, has to come in via a uh, shipping container. Now I happen to know, because we do export, uh, is that uh, you, you're you are constrained by your door width. Boats manufactured here in Australia for the Australian market are not constrained by that width, which is actually about 2.2 meters. This boat is at 2.5 meters, which is an extra 300 mil of uh, of beam. So they're beamier than any other boat, basically. Uh, the maximum trailable width, and it's the primary um, thing about them is uh, their safety. They they really are. Uh, it, the weather can blow up when you go in 100 miles offshore. Anything can blow up in that time. And of course, uh, these boats will pretty much handle any sea. As I said, you can cop a hop a wave with the whole boat full and still safely drive home. That's why people buy them, they're an offshore vessel. Uh, and as I say, they're guaranteed never to sink lifetime warranty or your money back. Now, this isn't an idle claim. We actually, um, in 14 years, we have not been taken up on that offer, thankfully. <laughs>